In this video, we will take a look at how to traverse a binary tree. So let's start by considering an example of a binary tree. So if I have a binary tree like this and I want to traverse this binary tree, I mean that I want to visit all the nodes of this binary tree. The order in which I will visit these nodes will differ based on the method I will choose to traverse these, um, this tree. Before we go into what are the methods to traverse a binary tree, we must understand that there are three parts to any binary tree. A binary tree has a root, it has a left subtree, and it has a right subtree. In our example, the root is A. The left subtree consists of B, D and E or the left subtree is the subtree with root D and the right subtree is going to be C and F or the right subtree will be that subtree which is going to be rooted at C. Now, these subtrees also have their own left and right subtrees. So, if we take the sub left subtree of A or the subtree rooted at B. It has again it has a root B. It has a left subtree of B which is D and it has a right subtree of B which is E. So any binary tree is made up of a root, a left subtree and a right subtree. These subtrees in turn have again a root, a left subtree and a right subtree. If a node does not have a right child, then the right subtree of that node is equal to null, like for C. C does not have a right child. So the subtree of the right subtree of the subtree rooted at C is going to equal to null. Leaf nodes don't have a left child or a right child. So leaf nodes will have a null left subtree and a null right subtree. So with this concept in mind, let's take a look at the first method we can use to traverse this binary tree. So method one is going to be pre-order traversal. So what pre-order states is that when we are traversing a binary tree, the order which we must follow is going to be first visit the root. then visit all nodes or traverse the left subtree. After we traverse the left subtree of the root, traverse the right subtree of the root. What I mean by this is, first we will visit the root then we will visit all elements of its left subtree and after doing that we will visit all elements of its right subtree. So let's take our example and see what the pre-order traversal of this binary tree is going to be. So with this as our tree, what is the first element we must traverse? We must visit the root. So we are going to visit A. After we visit A, we must visit the left subtree of A. So what must we visit? We must visit the subtree which is going to be rooted at B. So in what order are we going to visit the left subtree of A? In what order will we visit this B, E and D? 
we will visit that in the same order which is pre-order. So we want to traverse the left subtree of A which is going to be the subtree rooted at B. So first we will give the root of that. Then we must visit the left subtree of B and then the right subtree of B. So first let's go to the left subtree of B which is going to be the subtree rooted at D. First I will give the root then I will go to the left subtree of D. There is no value in the left subtree of D. So then I'll go to the right subtree of D. There is no value or there is no node in the right subtree of D. So I can say that the subtree rooted at D has been completely traversed. So now I have written down all the elements to the left subtree of B. Now I go to the right subtree of B. I will write down the root. There are no elements in the left tree. So I go to the right tree. There are no elements in the right tree. So the subtree rooted at E is going to be completely traversed. So now I have given the root B. I have traversed all elements to the right left of B. I have traversed all elements to the right of B. So I say that the left or the subtree rooted at B has been completely traversed. So now I have given A. I have given all elements to the left of A. Now it's time to traverse the right subtree of A. So I go to the right subtree of A. Right subtree of A is the subtree rooted at C. So I'll give the root first. Then I have to go to the left tree. I go to F. For the left tree rooted at F, I will give the root first. I'll go to the left tree. There is no element there. I go to the right tree. There is no element there. So then the subtree rooted at F has been completely traversed. Now I go to the right of C. There is no element to the right of C. So I can say that the subtree rooted at C has been completely traversed. So now I have A. I have all elements to the left of A. I have all elements to the right of A. So I can say that the tree rooted at A has been completely traversed. This is how pre-order is going to work. So what have I said? I will go to the root, all elements in the left subtree, in which order? Pre-order. Then all elements of the right subtree, in which order? Pre-order. Once I have given the root, all elements of its left subtree and all elements of its right subtree, I can say that the pre-order traversal of that tree at this particular root has been completely traversed. Let's look at the next example or the next method of traversal. This is called in order. In this case, first we will traverse the left subtree. Then we will traverse the root and then we will traverse the right subtree. So let's take our example. We have the tree which is going to be rooted at A. So first, I have my root A. I have a left subtree and a right subtree. Which one must I traverse first? I must first traverse the left subtree. So I go to the left subtree. Once again in my left subtree, I have a root, a left subtree and a right subtree. Which one must I traverse first? The left subtree. So then I have the subtree D. I go to the left subtree which has no elements. Then I have to write the root. So I write down D. Then I have to go to my right subtree. There are no elements. So then I say the subtree rooted at D has been completely traversed. So now the left tree of B has been traversed. So now that the left tree of the tree rooted at B has been traversed, left tree has been traversed, I need to give the root. After I give the root, I must go to the right subtree. Now I am at the right subtree. So now I check the left subtree. There are no elements. So I don't write anything. Then I go to the root. Then I go to the right subtree. There is no elements. So then I can say that 
Now that I have traversed the left subtree root and right subtree of the subtree rooted at E, that tree has been completely traversed. So now I have traversed B, I have traversed the left tree of B, I have traversed the right tree of B. So the tree rooted at B has been completely traversed. As you can see, all the elements have been visited. So now the left subtree of A has been completely traversed. So once the left subtree of A has been completely traversed, I must give the root or I must give A. Now, after giving the root, I must go to the right subtree. So I go to the right subtree. Now, in the right subtree, I must go to the left subtree. So I have a root. I will not go to the root. I will go to the left tree. Again, in this tree, I will go to the left. There are no elements there. So I won't write anything. Then I will go to the root F. And then I will go to the right subtree. There are no elements there. So now that the left tree, the root F and the right tree of F have been traversed, I can say that the subtree rooted at F has been completely traversed. So now the left tree of C has been traversed. I will give the root C and I will go to the right tree. There are no elements in the right tree of C. So since I have gone to the left tree of C, C itself and the right tree of C, I say that the subtree rooted at C has been completely traversed. Now let's look at it on a whole. I have gone to all the elements in the left subtree of A. I have traversed A itself and I have traversed the right tree of A. So I can say that all elements in the tree rooted at A has been completely traversed. This is how we are going to perform in order. Let's look at the third method which is going to be post order. In this order we are going to first look at the left subtree. Then we will traverse the right subtree and only then we will give the root. So let's see how this works with our example. We have a tree rooted at A. The left subtree is BDE, right subtree is CF. Which, is, which must we traverse first? We must first traverse the left tree. So let's go to the left tree. I have my root, I have a left tree D, I have a right tree E. Which one must I traverse first? The left tree. So I go to D. D I have a root, I have a null left tree, I have a null right tree. First I traverse the left tree. Left tree is null, so I don't write anything. Then I go to the right tree. Right tree is null, so I don't write anything. Then I go to the root. Finally, I can write down the root. So I have traversed the left tree, the right tree and the root. So now I say that the subtree rooted at D has been traversed. So now left tree of B has been traversed. Where should I go next? The right tree of B. So I go to the right tree of B which is the tree rooted at E. I go to the left tree of E, there is null, so I don't write anything. I go to the right tree of E, there is null, so I don't write anything. Then finally I will write the root. Now, the subtree rooted at E has been completely traversed. Now, the left tree of B has been traversed, the right tree of B has been traversed. So now I can write the root, which is B. Now that I have traversed the left tree of B, the right tree of B and B itself, I can say that the subtree rooted at B has been completely traversed. So the left tree of B, the left tree of A has been completely traversed. I have traversed the left tree of A, now it's time to go to the right tree of A, which is C and F. So in this tree rooted at C, I have a root C and a left tree F. First I must go to the left tree. Then I have a subtree rooted at F. Left tree is null, right tree is null. So left tree is null, I won't write anything. I go to the right tree. Right tree is null, I won't write anything. I go to the root. I can write the root. Now I have completely traversed the left tree and the right tree of F and F itself. So the subtree rooted at F has been completely traversed. In other words, the left subtree of C has been completely traversed. Now I go to the right subtree of C. There is null there, so I won't write anything. Now I go to the root. 
I can write down the root. So now I have traversed the left subtree of C, the right subtree of C and C itself. So the subtree rooted at C has been completely traversed. In other words, the right subtree of A has been completely traversed. So we have traversed the left tree of A, we have traversed the right tree of A. Now it's time to give the root where I will give A. So this is going to be the pre-order traversal of this example. This is going to be the in-order traversal of this example and this shall be the post-order traversal of this example. With this we come to the end of understanding the three basic methods of traversing a binary tree.